Okay, welcome to this tutorial on how to create uh, news style title graphics uh, through Adobe Premiere Pro. Um, I'm basically going to create what we call supers in the uh, news world, and a super is yeah. the title and name of a person who appears in an interview on television news. So I've created this one, um, I've just called her Maria Brazil, and uh, she is a journalist. Don't actually know if that's correct or not, but um, that's what I've created. I'm just going to show you how I created that. So with this news package, if I click space, the country's poor. Loads of my friends got tear gassed. We have that Maria Brazil journalist uh, fading in uh, to identify who she is. Okay, so how do I create that? Well, um, it's a little bit complicated to do, um, but I'll start from scratch. So I'm going to delete my title at the moment and start right from the, from the get-go. Okay, so move your uh, viewer, this cursor thing, over the um, clip that you want to create a title with, and then go up to the top and click title, new title, default still. What it's going to do is the video settings is going to automatically match whatever uh, uh, ratio that you're using up here. So you can leave that all as standard and just give it a name. Um, I'll just call it title two for the moment and click OK. And then we get this uh, very advanced, sorry, I'll move that out of the way. This very uh, advanced uh, graphic creation program, uh, way too advanced for what we need for news, uh, unfortunately, but it does mean we can create some pretty nifty graphics later on. But right now we just want to do a title. So um, as you saw on that title before, I'd actually created a bit of a background to it. So what I recommend you first do is go over here on the rectangle tool and create what will be a background uh, section for our title. So taking up the entire width of the screen. Um, you can have whatever color you want really, but um, I think white is a little bit too, um, I don't know, in your face. So I'm gonna move that to black. Do you see how I did that there? I go to color, click on there and move it to black. Now that still looks pretty cheap and nasty, doesn't it? Um, so what, what I'd suggest you do is on the opacity, don't have it at 100%, but move it down, okay? So it looks see-through, a bit transparent. I think that uh, looks far more professional when it's transparent like that. So I'm just gonna have it at 44%, but you can play around with it. Um, there's lots of other things obviously you can do with this, but I just focus on picking a color and then making the opacity uh, at a, a nice level. Okay, so I've got my background and now the next thing I need to do is add text. So click on the pointer, click away from that. So we're, we're happy with that. I'm no longer selecting it, right? Um, and I'm selecting just the main screen again. And then I'm gonna click on type tool, the T, okay? And then I also need to pick a uh, font uh, down here, which I'm just gonna click orator white. Okay, type tool, orator white, all selected. Now I can just click anywhere really on the screen, doesn't really matter, and type in what you need to do. Now, obviously that is way too big. <laughs> um, so if I go, once we start using type tool, all these options change. And again, there's so much more than we need to know about, but here's font size, right? And it's on 90. So let's move that right down. Um, I don't know, maybe about 30. Um, here you can change the font family and font style as well. So you can get very, uh, 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 I don't know, creative and uh, individual with your fonts. Um, but I'm just going to leave it like that. And then I want to move that obviously so it's not on her forehead. So I'll click on the pointer tool again, move it down to about where I want it. Now, um, these, uh, layouts, I guess, guides here are really handy, uh, to know, uh, what screen size formats, uh, your video can be seen by. So basically assume that, uh, some viewing from some audiences will only get the really minimal screen size here. So make sure all your font um, and information always fits within that small screen box, okay? Um, so I'll put that there. And then, so that's her name. I also need a title. So again, I'm going to click on the type tool, um, select my font and just click anywhere. And now journalist. 
and I don't want her title to be the same as her name. I want it to be a bit smaller. So I'm going to make that smaller. That's good. Click on the pointer, move it down. Okay, um, that's about right. I'll just make sure it lines up. That's not too bad, I guess. Okay, pretty happy with that, but let's see how we go. So if I press the cross here, um, look, nothing's happened. Where's it gone? Well, it's actually over here. It's created the title um, as uh, a piece of media that you can duplicate, copy, edit to your heart's content. So I'm going to drag that now onto the timeline. It needs to go on its own video track, okay? So you can pick video two, or I might say all my titles are gonna be on video three. So it's kind of out of the way. Um, and now if I put it there and press play, let's have a look. It's poor. Loads of my friends got tear gassed, pepper sprayed. They said that they were- Not bad. Um, I actually think, cause I'm uh, a bit uh, anal about these things. I want that text to move further to the right. So I'm going to double click on this title to get back into the edit plane. I also could have double clicked on the title here. Same result. And I'm just going to move this over a bit more. And now, as you can see, it's actually because I have the title and the uh, timeline, my, my adjustments are happening on the big screen here as well. Okay, pretty happy with that the country's poor loads of my friends got tear gas okay that looks much better um last thing is that you see how the title just kind of pops up at the moment poor. loads of my friends poor loads just flashes up uh it looks a bit ugly uh, what i want to do is have a fade in um to have a fade in what you need to do is go over here to effects and you've got all these folders there's so many different video effects that we don't need to worry about at the moment but the one you need to know about is video transitions and then you have dissolve and cross dissolve. So drag that up to the start of your title and also drag across dissolve at the end. And we should have a really nice professional looking fade in and out. Country's poor. Loads of my friends got tear gassed, pepper sprayed. They said that they were cool. Cool, pretty good. Um, now, if you want to edit the time that that title is on screen, it's simple as dragging and dragging it like that so you can make it shorter or longer um, if you want those transitions the fade ins to be shorter or longer just double click on it and then you can set the duration at the moment it's one second if i wanted half a second i would go 0 15. that's half a second loads of my friends got tears um and the advantage of creating a title like this is, let's say I'm really happy with this font, I'm happy with the design, I don't want to have to create that from scratch for every single person who appears in my package. So what I can do is right click on this and go copy, or even better, duplicate. Duplicate that and I've got title 02 copy. If I change the name of that, then I can also, you know, uh, for my next interviewee, um, I can edit that text to be the next person. And I've got a second title now, which uh, says Nick Parkin journalist. So for instance, uh, let's say there was another interviewee here, move that title across. And I've got Nick Park and Journalist as well. So it's really, once you've got that basic template that you're happy with, it's really easy to just keep duplicating it and change the, the name so you have uh, the same style throughout the video piece. Um, I think that was all I needed to show you about titles. Uh, we'll do more advanced graphics later on in later videos, but hope that helps out.